Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you hear that beautiful music? Well, guess what? I'm muting it, because I realize it's way too early for that. It's time <laughs> for Mostly Walking! I'm Sean Plot. I'm Bill Grader. And I'm Sean Bouchard. Welcome back. It's a pleasure to have you here. We are the world's leading and only show dedicated to point-and-click adventure games. Hell yes. Yes. And today we're continuing to play Thimbleweed Park, whose music you heard just moments ago, but is gone now. It's gone forever. No music. You're all grounded. Bill, how the hell are you, man? I'm sweaty. I'm sweaty. Oh, so, shit. So, uh, yeah. I don't know if you know this about San Francisco, but... Um, in the summer, uh, at about uh, sunset, it becomes uh, sometimes a hellscape. And you walk up yeah. the hill, and there's wind, just wind. There's just wind. And uh, not only wind, but there's also it throws shit at you, like the little sticks and, like, twigs and, like, bugs and, and dirt it will just fly in your face. Uh, it's, nature is just trying to reclaim those little thumb in the ocean. Yeah, so your your face right now feels a little bit like the windshield on a truck driver on the five. Yeah, exactly. Um, and then it's also it's also like really, I don't know, something about walking up that hill in that wind and and the the sort of ambient humidity means that I'm probably just going to be sweating, like literally just like sweating all show. Yeah. That's awesome. Like, you ever see that thing with like the football player, like the the the, the soccer player guy who does the interview, and he just is like sweats an incredible amount during the interview like like it's yeah it's, it's oh, I, have not seen I, that, no. I do want to see this because i'm sympathetic to people who sweat for no reason oh it's it's incredible he's yeah it's he's he's sweating during an, an interview the like it, the way that only someone who had just finished a professional soccer game and then taken a hot shower could do and he's, <laughs> he's wearing like a silk shirt so it's just it's it's amazing that's awesome, man. Yeah, because I mean, so, yeah. part of me wishes I had more control over it. Because I would do, I would do extreme things, in order to like fix like that. What? Like what? Sean? Well, well, um, I'm trying to think of other. Okay, so you, you know, like what what um, wrestlers what, what? will do, where they will like do all these just horrible things to their body to drop their weight class. Right. Okay. Yeah. I, oh yeah. Like yeah. I'm I'm willing to do those sorts of things in order to stop sweating as much like if what i need to do is just like sleep in a fish tank two nights a week and that will stop the sweating i'll do it with live <laughs> fish that's fine right that's if right. i need to if i need to skip four consecutive meals and deprive myself of sleep a little bit i'll do it i'll do it like i just sometimes i want to go off like i've given up that battle like every time i raise my hands up everyone's like it's right there there it is it's the big the gray mass <laughs> spreading down there and it's fine. You ever do baby powder? You ever take some baby powder in there? I've never poured baby powder all over my body, but I think that's <laughs> definitely going to be... I, no. I'm going to do that for Halloween. Be like, what are you for Halloween? I'm like, a test. I, I'm I'm a man who still has hope for this Halloween. That's my outfit. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Dude, dude, Mr. Bouchard, how the hell are you? Bill's sweaty, which means he's in a good mood. That's fantastic. Yeah, I'm less sweaty, which I feel good about. Like That's I'm, good. I'm at That's a great. reasonable temperature. My body is behaving accordingly. Uh, I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. I um, I had an experience this morning where uh, driving to work uh, on the 101, like on the LA freeway, um, I heard sort of like a, a strange pop sound and then like a hiss. Uh... And I thought maybe it was coming from a car that I was next to, but then all of the cars went by and it persisted oh. just the same. And Was the pop and the hiss you beginning to sweat? Are we it thematically wasn't. consistent? Is that what it is? I mean, okay, it, okay. It, 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 it wait, wait, coincided wait, wait. pretty well. Like, I started, it, uh. like, once there was a pop and a hiss, and then I started to sweat because, like, see. what the fuck? I, I would be like, willing like, to have it pop and hiss every time that I would have sweated if that's what would cause me to not sweat. If that would cause you to not sweat. But yeah. I'm interrupting, Sean. Uh, Go on. You I heard the pop and the hiss. One the, question. The, was it the sound of someone opening an ice-cold Sprite? It, no, it was not. It was not. I feel like I could have probably <laughs> attributed it to that pretty quickly if that had been yeah. the case. Because of uh, the, the, the delicious scent. Exactly. Probably. No, absolutely. Yeah. No, it was it was actually pretty innocuous. It was the sound of my uh, splash guard, 
uh, mm-hmm. beco- coming detached and then dragging along the freeway at freeway oh, speeds. Splash underneath guard. Underneath my car. Yeah. Uh, oh. Which, I mean, it freaked me out when it happened. I thought it was, like, something with the tires. And then, like, when when my car didn't, like, angle bizarrely uh, yeah. at some point, I figured it wasn't the tires. And then I thought, yeah. like... Did I just lose a muffler or like what what is happening? What is happening? I am encased. Oh I am encased in a mysterious That's metal tough. object yeah. traveling at high speeds. I don't understand anything about how it actually works or the state of it. Like what is happening right now? Um, yeah. yeah, no, I, I hate car troubles so much for that reason. But it made me like you know how on Star Trek they can just pull up an image that's like, here's your spaceship. This part in red, this is the part that's wrong with it right now. Yeah, oh yeah, just... Yeah, that's I like, right. Just like in the Icy Hot commercials, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. No, I want, the, I want the, like, self-diagnostic in real time car. Yeah, yeah. That's I want. That's, that's so true, because every time I go to the mechanic, I sound like an alien doing a bad human impersonation because i'm like well when i turn left it goes <laughs> and then when i turn straight again it goes <laughs> and then it stops and i don't know i just brought it in then yeah and I told you that what you do, right yeah, bring it in that's bring right in. and i i adore there's this place that's actually like 45 minutes away that i will still go to if my car breaks down because they're so sweet it's like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and it was was it a deep gravelly sound or was it sort of tinny and high pitched and I was like it was kind of like he's like "Hmm." (laughs) could be the brake pad and he was like really sincerely nodding he was like giving me hard eye contact he was there with me it was great hard eye contact he was hitting me with the hard eye contact this wasn't a limp flaccid ass noodly (laughs) eye contact yeah no it was yeah he was he was really into it I am uh Before we hop into this game, guys, I just want to say I'm into yeah. co-routines. Co-routines are awesome. Fucking love co-routines, man. Co-routines. For any who don't know what a co-routine is, all right, here's the gist. A lot of times, you'll like if you're doing something visual, you'll have an update loop. That like every single frame, you tell it to do something. Every single frame. And if you're making a game, you also have logic that like every single frame you want to be checking for something. Like if you are, uh, I don't know, making Mario, every single frame you want to say, are we standing still or moving right or moving left? And do stuff accordingly every single frame. But sometimes you don't want shit to constantly be going all the time. And a co-routine is like writing one of those loops that happens every frame, but you can kind of turn it on or turn it off. It's so great. It's so fantastic. And it just, I'm learning, I'm learning all about them. Oh my god. No and that's and uh I bet you no co routines were needed in the making of this game. CRTs. That's what oh, CRT stands shit. for. Oh fuck that's what CRT. Quick, quick, oh, I fuck. need to stay f- oh, just and solve this murder. Oh my did, god. Did we load the wrong game? Sean? Yeah, we, no, we loaded the wrong thing. Oh Jesus. Oh fuck. It's no good. Oh my it's god. It's no good. So I want to uh note where we are in the game right now for any of you who either don't remember or are one of our co-hosts who don't remember. Um, Yeah, right. So we have established that there is a murderer in the town. I don't think that we even know the identity of the murderee. Murderer? And... Right. We're kind of finding, at least I hope, that there is a structure where we go talk to people and then they suck us into a little mini memory and then we get to explore around. So we just went to the diner. And we just talked to Sandy, who explained to us there is a clown. Ah, uh, yes. And we went Sandy in there. Clown. So we're gonna keep what talking can to I Sandy. Do for you, honey? What's up with the sheriff? He's kind of weird, Reno. Yeah, he's kind of a nut job, but nothing compared to the coroner. This whole town has gotten downright weird in the last few years. Downright weird. I'm actually gonna turn it down just a little bit, cause that is. Why so, is he convinced that the coroner and the sheriff are the same person? I mean, I guess right. like he would, he would, he would be able to tell that. I think. I guess it's the yeah. My, my theory is that it is presented to us as one person being weird, and it's probably obviously the same person, but right. because it's an adventure game, it might not be. So this is the silly adventure games way 
of presenting mystery and unknown questions in us, the player. <laughs> That's amazing. Us That's amazing. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah, because I mean, you want you want to have noir, you want to have mystery, you want to not know what all the answers are, and it's actually hard to withhold information from the player and to have it feel good. Yeah, well, here it's unclear. We don't know. Spooky. Oh. Woo. Oh, so I don't play mystery I just, games. I mean, maybe... <laughs> okay, so maybe I come from an experience where, like, I have a hard time recognizing faces, uh, but I feel yeah. like if, if I met two people with different clothes and different speech patterns, and they looked very similar, but they yeah. told me outright that they were not the same person, and then everybody else that I met who knew them like casually also told me that they were not the same person i it would not i would be pretty convinced that they were two different people who I just really? looked strangely similar i have yeah. a, a great large scale yeah. manipulation i want to pull on you over the next few years okay. where right, just fantastic. me and a bunch of people just start saying the same nonsense to you for years yeah. until that's your reality and then one day we're like surprise surprise and you're like oh, that's a lot of effort I, Hi. all right like a, that's a it's a Borges premise. The it's, right. it's a this is, this is that this is that's called a Borges. Well, no, there's there is actually there's a Borges like short it. story or novella sure, about a, a dude who takes corner, over a, a crime organization, it's but it's all just a trick. It's like a prank. Whoa. And after running the crime organization for a year, they're like, just kidding. We're actually we were just pranking you the whole time. That's so weird. That's a weird. Pr I don't get it. Does anybody? Does anybody know? Oh God. Uh, 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 I don't know how to search for that. Okay. Somebody who is recognizes that premise in the chat should tell me the name of that story. Boris. All right. How does Boris? I'm gonna start moving You're through. Here we go. Let's, let's, let's do it. Let's make some progress. I'm a federal agent. That's my job. I've said too much already. I haven't said like enough. Sure. Everything's on the menu board. I thought what do you want? that I could just spam me. Oh my god, I realized, guys, we haven't established a drinking word yet. I'm not drinking, I'm having some water right now. Are you drinking? Is anyone here drinking? No, I'll drink, I'll drink, but I am not drinking yet. I'll right. drink after the first break of night. The, the drinking word is a who or a reno. Okay. Oh! A who yeah. or reno. A reno. Yeah, hey, not Sean. when we say it, only in game, yes. Hey, Sean. Sean, uh, play it. Yes. Let me show you some. Some, since you since you, I still have custody of it, uh, this stuff that you've made, I want to show this to you Sorry, again so that you can you can enjoy it again every once in a while. I can't open a new package of hamburgers. This yeah. one. Oh my god! And this uh, one. Oh my god! Wait, wait, yes. Wait, wait. What's we gotta oh, our, oh, our guys here. gotta be friends, guys. Oh here, yeah. man! Oh shit! Oh. I gotta I gotta have an excuse to come hang out now. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. What's Boys. up with this town? Boys are back in town. Used to be the, the worst song ever. Culture in the Tri County area. <laughs> Parties every night at the hotel. Celebrities visit the Edmund Mansion mansion. It was hard to not make money in those days. Her beard. Of course, this is before my time. And since the pillow factory Good burned days. down, the town is drying up faster than Dave's sex drive. Oh. Ain't that right, Dave? Oh, Dave's into. I'd like to order some food. What is David sure. talked about? Everything's on the menu board. What do you want? Um. Oh, the pie. I have the pie. Sorry, Dave ate the last piece. I'm gonna try to order some food. I told you a customer would want it. Those foreign city folks really love the pie. But no, you said. We seen the last of the city folks. Let me have the pie. It was starting to go bad. Meh. Shut up, Dave. Dude, Plus. they hate each other. Thanks for your Thanks help. Alright, I'm leaving. We'll be I don't know that they hate each other. I think she just hates Dave. Anytime. Ah, delicious. I can't wait to eat one. It's turned off. Now, if this were real radio, there would be... Or if this were a real adventure game, there'd be the turn on button that is like... Yeah. Totally pixel perfect in there somewhere. That's right. For dexterity challenge. I'm gonna talk to Dave. Oh, I can't talk to Dave. Damn. What is this? Oh, do you want? no. Do you want do you want a snuggle? Do you want attention? 
What is it? A stubble. Hi. Yes, she's sitting on my lap. She never, ever, ever. What can I do for you, honey? I, I'm just gonna exhaust all the foodie options because, all right, this beat. You got it. You got to get up off this thing. You got it. <laughs> I love I love being on manual uh, camera controls, you know, for the sake of oh. the, the thing not most up. Because then you click the wrong. Like I was trying I to adjust my brightness a little, and I just sure. went full like Terminator to Sue, like. Board. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Good choice, honey. We're trying yeah. to move them out. Got, oh, we got a hot dog. Bloom in. Eat up, hon, while you we're got going. a hot dog. Oh, ship oh. the hot dog. I, I, I knew she said something about hot dog, but I was... Okay. That is the worst yeah. hot dog I've ever eaten. Yeah. Um, Sorry. Gotta go. Everything you did is still better than Terminator Genesis. <laughs> Terminator Genesis. Oh, right, we vomited. Is there something in the vomit? I hardly knew her. <sighs> vomit. I feel better now. Oh. Shit, all shocked. All right, so uh, I think that... My, my theory is that we literally need to just go around, start asking people about murders. It says, we're sure. Out okay. And then just find more, like, places to get sucked into and near, learn about near. various killers and shit. So I'm actually going to go to the witch. Witch? Who's the one who cursed the clown to never be able to remove his face? And I'm going to be like. Witch, please. You got any loose change? I'm going to try to ask her. Yeah. Xer. Don't touch the books unless you know what you want. <laughs> Alright, we gotta ask. Oh, wait a minute. How can I help? After this uh, conversation, I have a... I have a, a little seg segment that I want to introduce. Oh, all right. Well, I mean, I think this is a good okay. time. Let's, let's introduce okay. the segment now. This is when we have a spoiler-free conversation okay about last week's or this week's game of thrones no no i'm not going to do that because I'm, I'm i'm two and a half seasons behind on game of thrones that's that incredible <laughs> well then well then this is yeah. perfect for you because it's spoiler oh, free. that's a great point how about it sean there you go that was uh an it's it's an episode yeah 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 and uh it was it aired on television on hbo it had a really good part yeah was it mm -hmm. i i I know you're doing a shtick, but genuinely, was it good? It was good. It was very it, good. It is the one. The one genuine thing I'll say: this whole yeah. show is that it had a moment that, if you're watching it, you'll probably realize. You'll probably know that this was my favorite moment. So that that's uh, how good okay. that moment is. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> All right, that's been Game of Thrones. You know, I think I think I think what happened is there was a battle where someone rode in on a scooter. That's what I'm going to be looking for. <laughs> the yeah. Lord of the Dead, the the King of the White the Walkers, of the just like, yeah, that's right. and the Lord he Lord lost his balance Christ. a little bit, but then he got it back because he's the King of Evil and shit. Dude, that's that going to be tight. I'm going to look for it. Game of Thrones, the Lord of the Dead, and also there was uh, there was um... King Dead. I think is his name. <laughs> <laughs> There was also the the, the horse uh, the centaur um, centarmy the centarmy game. Yeah, I know. And, and, uh, yeah, and they uh, the warriors of the two rib cages. They went to they they rode all the way from Westeros <laughs> to Easteros. <laughs> so, and um, then on snow or something. Well, I'm gonna ask about Ransom the Clown, man. Here we go. Did you hit Ransom? <laughs> right. Boom! That was That's the second. Awesome. Proud of that guy. He was being a jerk and he needed a little beat down with the karma bat. Yes. I think a permanently cursed face might have been more than a little beating, ma'am. You want a taste of my karma bat, Agent Reyes? That's well, not what no, he said. Sorry, ma'am. Ah, uh, all right. That uh, chooses the wizard. Oh, oh, that's oh, that's right. She Still wanted mushrooms, mushrooms, and she's like, it grows. We need to go on a vision quest to find the answer. Herbs you and can get the Garicus fungus visionum delectamentum mushroom from the sewers, I might be able to help. All right, let me see if I can get her to say a little bit more, and then I'm going to switch over to, much to Agent Snurkadosha. I set up my shop in Thimbleweed after my craft on the road for many years. After road. all, there's only so many nights you can vomit peyote and pull cactus needles out of your ass in the desert before it becomes old news. Nice. Uh, 
Oh, well, I, how did you get into the occult? Oh, I suppose when I realized I could get baked and make money doing it. I thought it Whoa. was a serious spiritual I'm, I mean, baked. I don't <laughs> okay. To tell you, dear. I like Hard to argue balls, with that. And with the money I rake in from my curses, I'm going to retire on a yacht in the Bahamas. <laughs> um, Why did you set up shop here? The vibrations. Yeah. This town has a dark and weird energy, which makes it perfect for a cult business. Yeah. Do you mean an energy like the signals I've been hearing about? No, no, no. Those signals sparking through the air lately are something else altogether. Mm. I don't know what they mean, but I hot local it signals. Want to meet you? Goodbye. So, guys, if you if you I have any ideas for <laughs> gameplay <laughs> or local singles, of course, feel free to share. Hot local signals. Uh, sorry, that's a goodie. Uh, that's a good one. I like that. That's for me. That one was for me. No, no, no. no. That sewer. is. That's. Oh. <laughs> I should have expected Reno. It was you. I Reno. Don't like being interrupted when uh, a Reno, there it is. Have a drink. When I shot a man, a Reno, just to watch him die. This case doesn't seem like something the feds would be interested in, hmm? Now you should head back to the home office of Reno before you get hurt. There Said is the murderer. The loose. Yeah, I'll run that up the home office of Reno flagpole. We shouldn't have done Reno. Everyone's gonna die. Can you get me out of here? Yeah. Sure, just follow me. No, oh, I will need to blindfold you. Nothing it's policy. Surprises me <laughs> it's... Rules are rules. Now, put this blindfold on. I think we can handle the investigation from here, Arino. That's five, chat. Good luck. I'll miss you so much. <laughs> Alright, so I haven't gone back to the scene of the crime. Now, now, Bill, is there any place you would uh, oh. like me to go in the midst of this? I Honestly, I try not to meddle in the affairs of uh, the computer game. Well, so my my big question is: Are there obvious places that are there parts of the town that we don't yet have access to, or do you feel like we have full as clearly as possible? I guess do we have full access to the town at this point? Because I know there was like a street that was closed off to us, and then we were able to get onto that street and we found the diner and all this new stuff. Like, are there more things like that? Are we still unlocking areas of the I map? Think, I think we have all the areas, because I think it's like a T, right? There's there's A Street, where th this guy's down. He's at the far okay. end. We have her, and we are trying... And I can go all the way to the right. Come on. We can go down B Street. So it's actually more like a... Not an H. But here here's all the way to the end. There's A Street, B Street, and there's Main Street, and that's all I got. Won't you okay. be my quickie pal? Oh, I haven't done Can this. Can I help you find anything? Yeah, I don't. I don't think we've. I haven't seen quickie pal. Quickie it's pal. It's called Levo's bear repellent. When you have this, you don't need to bear arms. <laughs> <laughs> is that like a? Do they have like a little uh, well shop of horrors plant there? Oh is that shit! Is? Hey. It looks hungry. Oh yeah. I don't have an extra finger, though. Let me know if I can help you find anything. I'm gonna talk to Leonard. Leonard. Hi there. I'm Quickie Pal Leonard. How can I help uh, you? Quickie Pal Leonard. I'm Special Agent Ray. Uh, Dude. I'm not holding. If that's what you're thinking. <laughs> Dude. Okay. Here's here's new game idea. Okay, guys. We. I mean, you know, procedural generation is like a real hot topic in game dev, especially in indie game dev. Right? So hot right now. I know. Yeah, so you hot can, right now. You can write the program that makes all your content, which means you don't even need to develop any content development skills. Yeah. You just you don't let need the computer to write do that anymore. You can just write the thing and writes it. Yeah. Exactly. So, imagine. Okay. So they've done things like you know, No Man's Sky had a bazillion, bedrillion worlds. Right. All of which Here were a bright color. Imagine yeah, sure. if we took that idea of procedural generation and made the world's largest procedurally generated adventure game where it, it creates a town with a bunch okay. of characters who create random dialogue and random dialogue options. Just, you know, cool. you use Markov chains to generate something that's yeah. human-ish and sure. you talk and you can go into places and there'll be items there. 
And much yeah. like an adventure game, you'll enter into, uh, you know, a drugstore, and there will be, like, a sponge, and you just pick it up. And then there will be, like, a diploma, and you pick that up. And there's also a gas can, and you pick that up, right? Everything weird that you find in an adventure game, you can just procedurally generate because no one cares about not making it look weird anyways, right? That, so, it's right. Like a, so it's like an open world point and click adventure. Yeah, in infinitely that, uh, procedurally generated. So you actually wow. need to go like seven towns away to get a mushroom out of a cell phone to give to the witch so she can trip balls. <laughs> right? That's That sounds good. That uh, Honestly, that sounds like you could play that game in real life. Just pick things up. <laughs> pick it up. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's a, it's a game called Pick It Up, or for sure it's Stealing. Uh, I think it's called it's called Pockets. <laughs> it's called Pockets. A little game I like to call Pockets. <laughs> I'm gonna play a game Pockets later. <laughs> uh oh, everyone's a little more poor, except for the guy playing Pockets. Woo, pockets. Achievement unlocked. All right. Do you know anything about From the body by the river? No. But I heard the sheriff nearly ralphed when he saw it. Ralph. The only bods I've seen lately are the righteous bods. babes at the top shelf of the magazine rack. Bods. I'm not surprised the only women you see naked are in magazines. Damn. Incoming. Oh my god. Oh my god. I someone found and delivered a sickening burn. I, uh, several weeks ago I saw someone else do this. I now will do this. I will link it to a burn unit. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. There's the URL. Click because you have been burned, and these treat real burn wounds, and your pain looks so much like a real burn wound. To your email address, I have delivered a gif of a meme about a burn. I did see something suspicious a couple of nights ago. It was on the late shift, getting ready to close up and grab some za. When Willie, the town bum, walks in, was totally whack. When I think about it. Why did Willie seem suspicious Why did Willie to you? Seem suspicious to you? Really? Well, normally we have to toss him out because the dude smells grody, and he never has any money. But for the first time in forever, Bro pulls out this wallet and flashes a fat stack of dead presidents. I thought it was kind of bitching when he bought out the liquor cabinet. Oh, Willie, not that money, Willie. Oh, could the wallet? Could the wallet you saw have belonged to Willie? <laughs> oh, no way! That wallet was his! I figured he got lucky and found it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. But come to think of it, I'm pretty sure the wallet <laughs> had some weird red stains on it. That's so it's commies. Some it was weird red stains. But it could okay. have been blood. Could have been blood. So what's your blood. deal, Leonard? Wow. So, what's your deal, Leonard? Dude, how what's do your you deal, know Leonard? my name? Are you like telepathic or something? No, or like you just telepathic. Told me your name, and it's also on your name tag. <laughs> These flickering lights are going to drive me insane. <laughs> yeah, it's a trip, isn't it? Oh, they're even better if you get a little toked up and uh this game wants me to engage in yes, officer, weed smoking. Right yeah, there's, we've been talking to a lot of druggy users, and you know what the best drug is? Love. Ca caffeine is actually caffeine. Yeah, no, no, no caffeine, caffeine. Love, caffeine is... and then uh, I don't know, yeah. melatonin probably after that. Yeah, melatonin. Do you like your job here at the Quickie Pal? Heck yeah. I got a freaking sweet deal here with free coffee and minimum oh, wage. Plus, I don't get many customers on the late shift, so I get plenty of time to think. That's ironic because you're so dumb. <laughs> All right, you know, no, here's 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 the meme. Okay, here's the trope. Here's what's gonna happen. Trap. I'm gonna click, and he's gonna start talking about something very technical. You said you get a lot of time to think. I'm like an abstract thinker, way ahead of the curve, man. My mom says I should be more like my cousin Bernard, who got a scholarship to MIT. But why be like that, Dweeb, when I could be like Chuck Edmund? Tell me about Chuck. I mean, do I, I just keep exhausting like this? Because I got... Yeah, that I certainly is exhausting. Feel like... Yeah. yeah. Uh, Tell me about Chuck. Tell me about He's Chuck. He's my freaking hero, man. Hey, look, dude, I'm dude watch dogs. Dude never went to college. Just started building his machines when he was a kid. That guy made this town rich just by doing what he loved. 
Oh, wow, look at that. Look at that. We're getting more more dialogue. That's why I dropped out of high school. I don't want to live my life for the man like some peon in a polyester cage. No offense. Offense. Yeah, this um this game is really Gen X. It's Gen X in me out. <laughs> It's Gen X in me. Yeah. Gen like, X, X, like, X. Uh, what do you think about the state of the even town? Even the like, um, just ignore the losers who say this town is over. <sighs> I mean, stereotypes are like from the even. 90s. We got everything a person could ever need. I like my media to have a healthy wood. wallop of stereotypes in it. Feels good. It's a nice, familiar, warm, welcoming place as someone who lived in Kansas. Kansas. All right, let's let's pick up. Dude, Sean, I learned why um, Arkansas and Kansas have are, have different pronunciations. So can, you, can you say it again? Arkansas and Kansas were based on the same name. It's just one was settled by the English and one was settled by the French. Huh. Let me know if I can Well, I mean, we actually, back in my hometown, pronounce it Kansas. Kansas. I'm from Leewood, Kansas. Oh, hell yeah. Kansas! I have to tell you about the uh, fictional oh, God, world of uh, so Kansali. No, no, I I know that you are uh, one of the leading experts on fictional worlds. So tell me a little bit about uh, Kansali. Kansali. <sighs> My I friend Melissa, when she was little, her sister, her older sister, told her, and she believed it, that there was a land that uh, that when you when you're in the shower and you use the soap and it gets all lathery, the lather is called Kansali. And there is a place called Kinsali that's entirely made of Kinsali. <laughs> the, the, like a world that is constructed like, of Kinsali? I think it's like a city or a town, yeah. Like Every time you're at the like, Kinsali like, grocery stores trying to put in your Kinsali credit card into the thing, it just keeps slipping around everywhere and you can't keep your balance yeah. very well. Yeah. Trader Joe's yeah, doesn't do like, very well okay. there, yeah. <laughs> no, it's tough. They can't even ring the bell. It's too slippery. <laughs> they just try to grab it and zoop, it just pulls right out. Consali, how's that spelled? I think it's C O N S A L I, but you know what? I don't know that it's actually got a. They might not have a written language, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Every time they try to talk, it just it slips along the tongue, the lathery sort of oh, substance. Oh, it rolls off the, it slips off the, it slides right off the tongue. All right, I'm gonna go pick Welcome up the rest of the, the items. Slide. Can I help you? There aren't any maps left. Sorry, little dudette. The sheriff came by a bit ago and nabbed all the maps. Didn't I? Don't want to pick that up. It's an. I'm sorry you were cut out of the inheritance card. Be careful how you spend your bup kiss. Isn't this kind of rubbing it in? My if I have something kiss. to mail, this might work. I personally... I don't want to pick that up. Can I open the mail slot and get stamps? I can't open that. I mean, we, we, we got stamps last time, but I, I feel like I want stamps. I just want stamps. stamps. I just want stamps. I can't open that. I can't. Why would I do that? Wait, Arena the... 3000 Arenotron! Oh shit, I, dude, I'm oh, going this yes, way. Coaster. I'm going this way. That's the start We're of the Island. Yeah, it's oh. Loom. We're gonna begin Loom up there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what is the music at the start of Loom? I can't remember. It's not the baseball song. I don't I don't know. It's oh the shit. Holy this is a wide fuck. World. Oh, there's a whole new world. Oh, it's a speck of dust! Oh, you know what? I bet you there's a fucking speck of dust back in that store. I bet you. I want my, my specks of dust. I love collecting. Give me collections. Ship the collections, man. I reinstalled Diablo 3, played the shit out of that, and now all I want is collections and things that are orange. How's the, uh, how's the old, uh, how's the old uh, economy going in Diablo 3? Uh, they killed the auction house. It's not there that, Did they kill it long ago? Is that? Yeah, long? but I haven't played it since long ago. So for me, they just killed it. Isn't that? Isn't that fresh? Isn't that fresh as fuck? So weird. Was it's that? Like... That was one of those things, right? Where it was like that was like a kind of a new experiment, and they were like, "Shut it down! Shut it down!" It like hit the yeah, it really bad. control or something. Yeah, because basically. Oh, there, little agent Arino. Have a drink. You can't just go bumbling around the county without a map. It's too easy to get lost. There is a killerino on the loose. Dude. Seriously, I feel like I'm the guy who's like, oh my god, Bill, did you hear about this movie called The Matrix? <laughs> he uses slow motion effects. Yeah, um... It's 
pretty tight. It's pretty tight. You know, it's pretty tight. It's out. pretty good. You can make your shirt dance. Watch this. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's know. pretty nice. The map. Uh, Seriously. Oh yeah. Good job. And not just any good job. Map, but an official map. No. And where would I find this official map? You're gonna have to complete well, a map quest. Well, the county is plumberino out of them. I guess this really messes up your investigation. I'm Marino. sure the head office will understand Reno. Sorry, chat. Wouldn't it be amazing if he was the mayor of Reno? <laughs> Cats. <laughs> <laughs> Not a chance. The feds never give up. Never surrender. Or should I say, the fed arenos never give up. Yeah! I see. No! Now you're mocking me. Where do I find an official map? Well, the oh, you don't have to drink for that one. I am a federal agent. I can take care of myself. And a darn fine agent, I'm sure of. But we they should have, have edited this part. Here and everyone is required to have an official map. This part could have been shorter. No, it couldn't have. Aren't there some donuts that need eating? Aren't well, there some donuts that need eating? Oh, those donuts aren't going to eat themselves. But we have laws around here, and everyone is required to have an official uh, map. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. I'll head back to town. She has a genetic case of husky voiceitis. Donuts do sound good. Mm, dude, don't they? Oh my god. I want a cheat meal Wednesday this week, man. Donut Wednesday. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh, dude. Oh. Donut oh, pot. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, well. Dude, I, did I tell you? I tell you, I, I, I hired personal trainers to, like, oh, tell yeah. me how to work out and, like, what to eat and shit. And their, mm -hmm. their policy is like there's the healthy food but cheating yeah. three meals a week is okay Ooh. three meals a week Ooh. okay that's, that's yeah, good because you good. know not including breakfast just like lunch and dinner you get like 14 meals so if you're doing three right. out of that 14 is unhealthy and the rest is healthy and you're having healthy breakfast and shit right damn that's apparently not so bad that's but that's, there you go. that makes sense to me yeah, yeah. but for that's me reasonable. It means I can eat shitty dinners three nights in a row, so I feel amazing always, man. Yeah. And like, I hear donuts, I'm like, maybe it's gonna be Wednesday, I'll eat donuts and beer for dinner. Fuck this <sighs> body. Woo! Uh, and they're like, yep, um, seems great. I mean, Ooh, like, there's, there's also though a numbers game, because, oh, look at that boy. The red, red-eyed boy. Um, there was someone that I saw online ah. who was talking about Ugh, gross. About his uh, his cheat day, no and he way. listed what he I ate on his cheat day. I couldn't believe it. I can smell it from here. It was so much. I couldn't even believe anyone could eat that much. And I was like, have you, Yeah. Have you, have you done the numbers? Yeah. yeah. No. Like on my cheat days, <laughs> it, it used to be gross to be with me. Ugh, like it, yeah. I, like I embarrassed myself every Saturday. <laughs> Just with like I, I would be like, oh, that was a good day, and I'd look and I'd see like crumpled wrappers of candy bars and like you know the cheesy dip and this and then it's like wrappers for like wendy's and there's like a pizza and i was like dipping the pizza into the queso and like yeah like oh yeah yeah and, and i was like dipping the snickers into a frosty from wendy's i mean like sick twisted oh, shit it was great what we're man. gonna do is we're gonna eat healthy every day and then saturday's binge day yes yeah, saturday is like gross binge day like if you filmed me only on Saturday, it would make like a compelling person out of control on Netflix documentary that you'd watch while you're falling to sleep. Like that's yeah. what I actually want to do. Wouldn't that be a great documentary? What you do, what you do is you take me today where I'm eating healthy, yeah. but I cheat, I binge offensively every Saturday and you film me every Saturday. But the intention is I'm going to be losing weight and getting in better shape as time goes on. So you play the footage backwards to make it look like I'm a person degenerating over time. I don't wait. So which part of the wait? This is like when I went to see Memento. I don't get it. <laughs> it's bad get it. Memento. <laughs> bad. Yeah. Uh, hey, can I can I call back for a second? Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. Sure. Star sixty nine. Star sixty nine. Yeah. 
Yeah, Star Six Nine. The uh, the the Borges short story that I was referring to in the intro to this show is El Muerto, the Dead Man, and it is exactly as I described it. El Muerto. Uh, cool. They are all. That sounds yeah. really cool. I will have to yeah. totally pick out. I'll check out that Borges if I have a minute. Yeah. I can imagine what it looks like in there. Oh. The Deatron Three Thousand. No. Oh, it's a massage toilet. It's like a really big tube. Okay, so maybe we can I take that too. I need to tube? stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. Page and yeah, so promise. he's got, he has a like secret agenda that he has not told us about. And he's the character. Huh. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh wait, who's Dolores? Go talk to Dolores. Hey. Go talk to Ransom the Clown. Hey. So we gotta find a map. So that we can talk to Ransom the Clown, we, we Dolores may also be out there somewhere. Dolores is—is is this Dolores in the post map area? Am I Dolores I right now? Is this Dolores? Are we Dolores? Because I, I, I don't. I, oh really? You think? I mean, it's possible. Uh-oh. Cutscene. Cutscene. What the- how the fuck do we get a cutscene? <laughs> Quickie, pal. It's a- Okay. Are we watching VHS? I don't oh. know. That was nothing. A cutscene of nothing. That was a cutscene of nothing. It looks pretty ratty. And I do mean ratty. No. I do. What do you mean, I do mean ratty? It's he like means he does mean ratty. Books. You got any Jesus. rats? Somebody As in, back? it looks like it's made of rats. Ratty. Razor this game's getting better. Have you guys noticed that they're, they're doing more creepy, it's creepy stuff? Talk to Ray. Getting better. Sort of. Uh, Any idea what these specks of dust are? I found some too. You're not I supposed to talk about them. Deadly. You're just supposed to collect them. I hope, they, I hope they aren't deadly. I hope they aren't deadly. Why would they be deadly? Yeah. yeah why? Why would you? Clown. Why would you pick up Whatever. specks of dust? If you pick them up, why would you tell your partner about them? And if you did, why would you like express concern that they might be deadly? They're we they're specks of dust. Maybe right? We should work together I don't understand. Like, I do I not have a mental model of what? Working together on this. Maybe it's one of the. Maybe it's one of the irritating in jokes. Well, I need to. Maybe get it's a backer quest. Oh wait. Mm. Give. Ray's notebook to Ray. Thanks. I hope you kept your eyeballs off it. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I hope you kept your. All right. I balls off it. Okay, okay, so these first nine are, are like the big things. The murder weapon, the prince, get the finger tron, find ID, get face tron, take a blood swab, find a suspicious item with blood on it, which would be the wallet, the blood tron report, three reports, and the arrest tron. So this is this is the full game, but right now we need to go find the map of Thimbleweed County go talk to Dolores. Okay. And the mushrooms. What about the mushrooms? Mushrooms. Yeah. Yeah, but who's Dolores? Dolores? It's a good photo of the body. I like how the state-of-the-art camera can alter the angle of the shot. I, Wait, what? What? Right. what? Is that a Blade in joke. Runner in reference? Joke. I think so. I think it's an in-joke. An in-joke oh. to what? I can't read. To the backers. <laughs> Games full of significant things with no meaning. Okay, so I don't know where the mansion is. I haven't gone back this way, but I'm gonna go back this way. Wait, I, have I even gone to the cemetery? Oh, we went here, but like I, I got don't scared. Remember the cemetery? Are those are <laughs> just specks of glowing flying dust? Yeah. Are they poisonous? Poisonous dust. That's right. That's what you do in Damn, modern games. That's a lot of. Uh, you make the art assets that. you want to make, and you just put particle effects on it. Gravy stones. 
Particle effects do most of the work for you. Maybe you can find some voodoo on these gravestones. <laughs> oh my god, I forgot that we played that game. What was the main character's name? Uh, Gabriel, Gabriel, Gabriel uh, takes a look at the gravestone. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no use touching that. Jesus. What, how, sure. do I, how do I open it? I don't see a way to open it. But I see a switch inside. Let's use the... I don't see a way to open it. But I see a switch inside. Is that the way to open it? It's called Levo's Bear Repellent. When you have... I can't put it in there. <laughs> uh, I don't see a thing to do here. Chuck! A flower from the cemetery. Oh, do we have like yeah. a, a cane or an umbrella or like a stick it's that we could put fly paper on? Tuna heads, but good. It's, no. It's an empty soda I feel like bottle. most adventure Plastic games at some point you have to take a long stick-like like object and put something Idaho, sticky on the end of it to get right. something. Georgia, yeah. Virginia, yeah. That's Connecticut, Vermont, Maryland, Kansas. North Carolina. What what? Arizona, Montana, New Jersey. What why is Utah, Delaware, Kentucky, Sound test. Maine, Ohio, Mississippi, Illinois, North Dakota, Nebraska, Arkansas, Colorado, Louisiana, New York, New Mexico, why is she listing Missouri, West Virginia, states. Rhode Island. That's what she said. Iowa. Wyoming. <laughs> I mean, that's what she's saying. Oklahoma, she's Oregon, doing the part Indiana, of one of those Alabama, dance songs where they Michigan. just list locations. My god, there's a Boys to Men song where they do that. The entire song is just listing locations, man. The song's yeah. okay. It's an okay song. Boys to Men, hell yeah. Should play some Boys <laughs> to Men during the break. <laughs> I, I forgot they existed. They did exist. Did they ever turn There's into men? Nothing up ahead but road, the town. <laughs> they I, actually I, represent they the entire process. transition, yeah. Yeah. The so, boys there to men to a is a liminal state. The head. Yeah. Origins unknown. Why is the, the whole in the victim's head still there? Look like a gunshot. Yeah, I nobody like really thought it was important underbrush. to do anything with it, so abandoned chainsaw. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice. Shepherd. It's an old Shepherd. abandoned chainsaw. That's Definitely pretty good. Not the murder weapon. I have a chainsaw now. Parts. Fool me once. I can't use it until I find some chainsaw gas. Fuck! This is ah, uh, we're just collecting stuff at this point. The trail ends here at this huge rock wall. That old tree is blocking the ground. Alright, how do I get some chainsaw gas? Saw do you think gas. chainsaw gas is the same thing as gas? I think it might be the same thing as gas. I think so? I think chainsaws are driven by an internal combustion engine. It's pretty rusty and totally... It's totally out of chainsaw it's gas. Short length of hose that we could use to siphon gas out of a, an abandoned car. What percentage of games that we've played have had a short length of hose in them? Probably 30%? Probably like a good 30-40%. Like, you yeah, know, yeah, seems not missed. But outside of that, like a lot. Mist yeah. had lengths of hose that you couldn't pick up. Right. Definitely had lengths of hose. Lengths. Lengths. Lengths of... Lengths of... The ho- the ho- those? Lengths. Dude. Ugh. Okay, cat is, is Dolores in this town? Uh. The doors are locked. Cause I remember the story of Dolores. What's the story of Dolores? Dolores was the game programmer that we- help get her game oh program. okay i don't think that we have encountered dolores's sister was yeah. here at the bus station right but I, I don't know if dolores is here 
Yeah, and Dolores' no, sister was here. I don't think here. so. No path I don't think so. If I look at, you mean smell? I don't think we I ever met Dolores that. except for that, that one time when we were Dolores. And even then, I did we even meet ourselves? I mean, how much... How much can a person know themselves? Dolores much. That's how much. <laughs> yeah, I always measure my self-reflection in units of Dolores. That's right. I mean, Del that's kind of funny because Dolores is Spanish for pains. Pains! Yeah, that's right. Or is it pains or, or yeah, sorrow? Yeah, it's pains. It's pains? It's probably yeah. both, frankly. Might... Although sorrow, I think, is more like uh, cientos. Mm. Is it lo siento? Right. The lo siento means, uh, like, I change? feel it. Where the it? fuck oh, does is it? this Maybe. gas station, man? Free donuts. Lorton. Where's the gas station at, man? Walking around in an adventure game. That's all that we do every Monday night. Wait, wait, did I, did I just walk by the thing? Is there... Does the town not have a, a, a gas station? I thought the Quickie Mart was a gas station. Buy me some kombucha? No, what the... Where the fuck... What the shit? Do you got any uh, second-hand crystals? Well, I haven't gone in here yet. I don't know how there's so crystal locations that I have not gone into. Life crystal, Jimmy. Excuse me. Be with you in a second. I'm in the middle to of the wed I'm Edison. I'm Rotten Roach Control. I'm a federal agent. I'm a federal agent. <laughs> know anything about the body out by the bridge? You're a federal agent. I work for Uncle Sam too. Damn. As one government agent to another, Damn. I'll do what I can to assist. Do you know do anything? You, do you know do you anything? anything? Tell about us the body shit. Out by the bridge? No, everyone in town is still collecting their mail as usual. No one from my route is missing, and I would definitely notice if they were. I mean. Not to brag, but I did consider joining the vets. Uh, it's just not as prestigious or as challenging as postal work. <laughs> well, Mayo, because that is not how you normally expect something to be seen in that in the way. I feel so deserved. Uh, we're gonna take a break, <laughs> and during this break, you know, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna play Boys to Men, man. I really liked this song as a kid, and I wonder if I still Sweet. do. What's the name of that damn album? Oh yeah, it's just it's just two is the name of it. <laughs> oh yeah, alright guys, we'll be back, we'll be back in a sec, alright, we're gonna listen to some tunes, oh my gosh, what am I doing, we gotta get that mostly walking graphic up there, yeah. Tunes! Tunes, dudes, tunes! Dudes, we're gonna take a quick break, three minutes.